Hi and welcome back to another video featuring the Quansheng UVK5. This time we'll be using the Shawcom SW33 to compare the power outputs of both the stock firmware and EG Zoomer on 2 meters and 70 sems. So first of all then we need to switch the radio on holding the push to talk and rotating the knob to put the radio into uh, flash mode. Plug in our cable and then using the UV mods uh, website I'm just going to patch the original uh, firmware straight to the radio. So that's the original firmware successfully flashed to the radio. Let's get on with some power tests. Okay, so we've got the Shawcom SW33 SWR and power meter attached to the uh, Quan Sheng, and we're going to do a, a power test using the stock firmware first of all on high power on two meters. Mic Seven Foxtrot Romeo Sierra test. There you go. So I don't know how clear that's showing up, but that was about four and a half watts, roughly, on uh, on two meters on high power. So we'll go into uh, medium power. So that was high power. That's medium power. Select that. M7 FRS test. So medium power on the stock firmware, 2 meters, is giving us about 3.18 watts output. Let's try that on low. M7 FRS test. And you can see low power was giving us about 2.76 watts of output. So let's try that now on on the two meter band. On sorry, on the seventy sems. Let's check the power output. So we're on high power. M seven FRS test. And on the stock firmware, on seventy sems, apparently it's only given us one point five seven watts on high power. So let's try that on the. Mid power. M7 FRS test. And interestingly, mid power is giving us 2.92 watts output, which is higher than the high power output. So let's try low. M7 FRS test only, and then 2.44 on low, which is some interesting results. So we'll try that on the um, on the EG Zoomer firmware and see what uh, difference, if any, that makes. Okay, so now I'm going to flash the current version of firmware, which is currently EG Zoomer version 0.20.1. Uh, so we're going to we're going to patch that firmware to the radio. And then as soon as that's done, we'll perform the same test again. Okay, so we're on EG Zoomer, and we're going to perform the same tests again. So this is 2 meters, same frequency on high power. M7 FRS test. And straight away it's showing us that we've got 5.2 watts on 2 meters on high power. So let's change that over to uh, medium power. Let's see we're on medium power now. Let's try again. M7 FRS test only. And uh, medium power has given us 3.1 watts. Let's change to low power. 
M7 FRS test and 2.7 watts on, on low power. So let's try the same for the uh, 70 SEMS frequency. So we'll swap over to 70 SEMS, we're on high power. M7 FRS test. So that's given us 3.75 watts on high power. Medium power, M7 FRS test, uh, 2.95 watts on medium power, and then finally on uh, on low power, M7 FRS test. There you go, 2.42 watts on low power. Okay, so just while I've got the power meter connected, and incidentally this power meter is only designed for uh, VHF and UHF, it's not designed for, for HF frequencies such as uh, CB channel 19. There's a lot of speculation about uh, the CB frequencies putting out um, sprogs on various different frequencies, including the air band. I'm still running into the uh, dummy load at the moment, so this will be a real quick test, but I'm just going to see what the power output is displaying on here. Bearing in mind, the power meter only measures what's coming out of the radio. It doesn't actually know what frequency we're trying to put that on. It's just measuring what's coming out, basically. So we know that these radios put out a few milliwatts or microwatts even on the 27 megahertz band, but it's going to spit some other stuff out. So let's just have a quick look. It's on high power. So there you go, just a quick press of the PTT and uh, into a dummy load, and that's putting 4.22 watts out somewhere. We don't actually know where that somewhere is, but hopefully that's a a good demonstration as to why we shouldn't be uh, transmitting on anything out of band that the radio is not designed for because say there's 4.22 watts coming out of there somewhere but who knows where so there you go then here's the results it certainly seems that the eg zuma or exuma firmware is uh, performing better than the the stock firmware again if you found this video useful please hit the like and subscribe buttons for more content and we'll see you on the next one 73